what is up everybody love flap here with another video uh everything in this video the quality is going to be kind of low that's going to be my disclaimer uh it's simply because my recording for the stream was just poor but the quality of what i have in here the knowledge the education that is top quality so please bear with me with the pixelization but if you guys enjoy what you see enjoy what you hear make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a like because we are trying to hit a thousand subs before the end of the year and with all that being said i will see you guys in the next video so chat how are we feeling about wanted dead me personally dude i am i i'm liking this if this ends up a series i am here i'm here i want to be here i want to see what where this ends up going bro i want to see where the series ends up at because clearly they got they have an idea of where they want things to go they they're they're writing things down they're setting things up and i like that and clearly they have some plans to keep updating this game i don't know if there's going to be plans for dlc but they do have plans to keep updating this game and make it better so whatever they have coming out moving forward is probably going to be even better than this in terms of um some of the mini games some of the mini games are just not it for me i like i don't even know why they're in the game really i i really don't the only thing i can think of is maybe you just you want to do something more than kill people but I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I don't like that it felt forced to me to play the mini games. I wish it was more of a, uh, hey, we can, we can explore in some way. And there's mini games here just kind of as an Easter egg, not as an actual feature. Like we're going to tell you to do missions and that, that's what they, they have the mini games as an actual mission. I don't, I don't like that. I feel, I feel like some more of the story mode mission time could have been used to flesh out these characters a bit more because they do have charm to them a lot of these characters have charm to them I, and i like that i didn't expect them to have so much charm or to even have any personality i feel like this is like the start of something great when it comes to their personality you got uh characters like uh man i gotta look up their names i'm not gonna hold you because i wasn't really paying attention you got doc who's an alcoholic um who got discharged or who got set up essentially because he ended up having a dental thing taken out or killing a general as a dental uh general in the army or whatever the case was and that had him be put on the list and it i feel like personally it would be cool to just go through some of the things or some of the stories that they talked about rather than just explain it out and say hey this is what happened Especially because some of the things that they were showing to try and give context, um, it was relating to the past and we didn't actually play it. So if they're going to go the route of being uh, abstract about how they present uh, situations and how they explain situations, I feel like there's more that they can do in order to have the characters that's here mean more. Because the ending scene with everybody flying off and her staying i feel like the setup to all of that i feel like the setup to everything that's going on is kind of like loose you know like if you're paying attention okay you'll be able to comprehend it but if you're just like passively looking at what's going on and you're like you just want to press buttons and kill things you you'll lose what's going on in the story really fast because they're not like they're not explaining anything they're not they're <laughs> they're they're kind of expecting you to go out of your way to learn about what's going on in the story and because of that it, it just it feels like there's some things that i can they could have did better would i recommend this game let's start there yes i would recommend this game to somebody i wouldn't recommend it at full price thirty dollars I feel like at $30, you're paying for the graphics. You're not paying for the mechanics to work the way you think they would. <laughs> right now, it's on sale, 50% off, so it's $14. I would definitely pick it up for $14. I feel like you're getting more than what you're paying for, for $14. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. When you have like a mix of melee and range, 
it, it makes it very interesting but in my playstyle personally i ended up playing more melee i feel like they want you to play more melee because the way these guys are they're gonna be rushing at you let's so let's think about it like this at the start there's no ninja guys or anything there's like one stabby guy so i think that's kind of getting you into the you or, or into the framework of being prepared to use your melee but telling you you don't have to at every opportunity right so you have that and then you have them actually start adding samurais being like okay hey and there's melee people in this game you can use your melee too playing the whole game without using melee i really i truly do not see how you can do that i really don't they don't give you enough ammo for you they don't give enough expendable ammo for you to be able to do it like that and then if you're trying to melee the whole time they don't give you enough <laughs> uh health for you to be able to handle everybody the way you want to so i feel like having more mobility options more movement options cover actually being useful because it feels useless i'm not gonna hold you it feels useless yes it's covering me but when they can just throw grenades and they have like an infinite amount of grenades every time i go and fight them then why do we have cover <laughs> like we we don't need cover to be there like an the actual mechanic you can have it to where if i walk up to the wall it automatically puts me in cover and then all i have to do is like jump over like just have something more intuitive you don't have to have it so like old school where it's like press this button to go in the cover you can i i i like the blind file fire you should keep the blind fire but again when they can just throw grenades <laughs> And just throw you out and they have an infinite amount of them it doesn't make sense to have a whole mechanic <laughs> around covering like that you can literally just make it automated i don't know if it like it didn't feel better for me personally to press the cover button and then have it not work it, it, it literally just did not feel good at all but i i can understand the thought process behind it but no no i feel like it should be automated that's my personal thoughts on it you walk you walk near a wall you knock you walk near a corner there's an animation where your character is already on the wall i think there should be shoulder swapping if there is in the game and i just didn't see it okay i'll take that back let me look through the options real quick okay so there's no there's no shoulder switch i feel like there should be a shoulder switch shoulder switch when you have a game with this much movement going on when you're on near the wall and the camera's at the wall with you, there should be like the camera should go through the wall. <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't be pushed up to the wall with you now because I'm looking at the camera and I want to see it at a different angle. Because it makes it to where if I want to see things at a back angle or I want to see it at a certain angle, I literally cannot unless they're at the perfect angle to where I can actually get what I want to see. And then on top of that, I have to actively get them in that position every single time I want to see the animation, right? Three, there's no like, there's no picking of your finishers. Like, I don't know what indicated what allows me to do a, a takedown on the wall and what allows me to do a takedown with somebody like on the floor or something. Like, I don't know what allows me to do uh, grapple takedowns, what allows the gun takedown. Like, there's no specific press to get a specific takedown. And there's 50 animations. So, I feel like I should be able to pick through the animations there are. Uh, and then, on top of that, I don't even think I saw all the animations. Wall finishers. Bro, this is what I'm talking about. There's nothing that indicates, like, how you do that stuff. So, it looks like the poll has ended. With, I'd wait for a sale. And I agree with that. I would definitely wait for a sale. That is a smart decision. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do New Game Plus, like soon i'll tell you guys one thing though i am looking at uh moving into sonic frontiers so we can finish that before uh we get another sonic game coming out i think we got sonic generations coming out um again <laughs> like this year yeah sonic x shadow generations that's coming out uh it doesn't say when it just says it's coming out 